Good morning, guys. It's a bit of a late no, start this morning. Not morning anymore. Good afternoon, guys. It is ten past one today. Uh, um, Eleven minutes past one. Eleven. All right, fact police over there, chill out. Today we are off to the local point to point, which for those of you who don't know, which you might not, it's horse racing. So we go every year, mainly not really for horse racing, just for the kind of social side of things. And it's actually a really nice day. So it is a perfect day for a picnic. And look who's coming with us. Piglet, she doesn't like the car as you guys know, but she will love it when she gets there. The other dogs aren't coming because they've been playing golf. golf playing golf, fetching pond the golf. golf balls, pond golf. pond golf. And we've got snacks in the back. Great snacks. Good times. We've invaded the back of mum's car because she's got a way better picnic. Look at this. I mean, Mike's contribution were the dodgy Dorito dips, which let's uh, face it. And the crisps. The, and and the, cake. the crisps. And he also got baked hot tarts yes, and pre-made um, brownies. I made them but mum, mum baked this. How amazing does that look? Mum baked that. Ginger, ginger cake. Oh my god, I love ginger cake. Got scones, clotted cream, jam, champagne in real glasses. Fancy. And she's also made a soup apparently, which is back there, but we're yet to break into that yet. The boys have just bet ten pounds each on our friends, and he's at the back losing. I mean, at the back. Wasted I mean, money, they are wasted money. I went each way. Mike went all in. Mike went all in. At least I've. I've, 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 I've well, he's definitely best. not coming second, so I wouldn't get excited. Oh no. Oh no. We stayed for a couple of races, but it's so cold. It was really sunny this morning. Now it's freezing. Piglet is shaking, so she's in my jacket. We're gonna go home and get a good cup of tea. Ooh. We've just got back and made some tea, and I've put on this hoodie that is. It's actually a hoodie that Mike bought me when. Ooh, nearly dropped my camera. When we first started going out. So it's like over eight years old now and it's an Abercrombie extra large one so it's super super snuggly and I've got my slippers on and I'm still cold you know when you get cold like right down to your bones I need to have a bath to warm up I think that's the only way treacle bear we've just had an exciting delivery a few of you if you follow me on Twitter might have seen that I ordered a new camera the other day or I tweeted about ordering a new camera and it's arrived I'm gonna do a little bit of an unboxing I've never done one of these before but we're gonna do it I have ordered an Olympus pen. I'm really excited. I've heard so many good things about it. So um, let's have a look. So Fleur is demanding that I move the piglet. Piglet, would you mind moving? So she can film. She's like, no. Would I, you mind just, just no. moving so that you can sit on your own? Like I'm sleeping. You can go away. I'll give you a million kisses. So that's never going to be enough. Please, would you move? No. I'm chilling, Please. I'm chilling with Widgie. No. Okay, you ready, everybody? I hope the hopefully, sound's better. I'm not going to... Yeah, the sound hopefully is better. I hope I'm not going to cut myself with this knife. Cut away from you, not towards you. Never. All right, Grandpa. No, this isn't. This is the lens. So I got the 17mm pancake lens, which I'm hoping, if you guys know, can we move it up to my face so I can talk? Do any of you guys know about whether or not I will get into Coachella with Olympus pen? You're not meant to take cameras with a detachable lens. If they're never gonna know it's detachable. But by that, they mean like a detach like a professional camera, I think. Whereas this lens, the 17mm lens if you've that got, got both, for it, then you is can really try. small. Like, I don't think they're gonna notice that that's a detachable lens. Hopefully not. But if they do, I'm gonna have to go all the way back to the hotel. It would be a disaster. No, you just put both in your bag. What, and then just leave it? No. I'm gonna, like throw my camera away. I'd have to go all the way back to the hotel to leave my camera. So they wouldn't let me in with the camera. Oh yeah. She has a point. So if you guys know, if any of you have been to Coachella or a festival where they're like no detachable lenses, with an Olympus pen, I know this is quite obscure. It's quite but, a niche market. But I mean, I'm hoping. Anyway, so there's the lens. Okay, I've got a text message. And there's also <laughs> some. Um, some lens filters. Dun, da da dun, da da da. I'm not gonna lie, it's a lot of wasted box going on there. It is. Welcome to Amazon's packaging. Not <laughs> environmentally friendly. It's well packed though, I can't get it out very easily. Ooh, fancy. How exciting. <gasps> it better be the white one. Yeah, it is. Whew. Had a panic then. Imagine Look if how it's cute it looks. not. You excited? So, it's so bloggy. Look at that. <laughs> Who do you think it was aimed at? Do you reckon they actually make cameras now for you guys? 
Yeah, no, that's 100% this camera is like the blogger camera. There it was. And in here. I love it how the football's gone in the background right now. Do you even need the setup anymore? I mean, unlike, on the basis most computers don't have CD drives yeah. anymore. Sorry, they're not going to take that off you. That'd be absolutely fine. I hope not. But yeah, and then I basically got another lens as well. Another one? Um, yeah, I got a 45mm lens for taking sure. photos. Sure, pal. I haven't had a new camera in ages. I'm really excited. Fair enough. Because you can actually film like proper um, and take like blog. You can take blog photos and film proper videos on it as well. I'm excited. Mike's just gone and picked up um, Nando's for us. All the so, ones are Nando's. All the ones are Nando's. I got that's me, mango and lime with. Um, no, I think you found that's me. Oh, Mike got mango and lime. Sorry, with halloumi cheese chicken wrap. I got a mushroom and halloumi wrap with avocado as well. Which is super super delicious. It's my usual. And what else did we get? Oh, I got a sweet potato. Yes, please to a drink. Can I have appetizer, please? Oh yes, appetizer and fizzy bimto. What way to end me? So I'm upstairs now, and I am starting to think about packing for Coachella. And I have to say, I've been quite organised this morning, um, and I've done the following, but. It's not really looking overly tidy. Nobody tell Mike what my bedroom looks like right now because he's going to have a real shock when he comes upstairs. So I'm doing that and I'm kind of, I'm getting there. I am getting there. And I'm also watching uh, or catching up on The People vs. OJ Simpson because I haven't watched it in a couple of weeks. And I've got two episodes to catch up on. I've just had a bit of a rediscovery um, whilst makeup packing and I wanted to show you guys um, this, which I don't know if you remember, well probably not, I mean it's been a long time, I've kind of forgotten about this. This is a Laura Mercier makeup case that Mike bought me a few years ago, probably like five years ago now I think, but I just absolutely love the way it's designed and I want to show you guys what I'm taking to Coachella with me just really quickly in this video instead of doing a separate video about it because I did a different one recently um, but I really like this because it's divided into compartments like this and they're all magnetized so you can like pull them out and then just drop them back in and they just slot back in then it has a brush section another section there that you can put like I don't know whatever you want to put in there um, and and a couple more sections at the back. So, in here, in the top section, I have two pairs of eyelashes. These are actually my eyelashes for Isla, except I've taken them out of the box. So, um, I hope they're going to be okay. They didn't fit in the boxes, but they should be okay like that. And then in this section, I am putting all of my eye products. So, I'm going to tip them out and show you. So, I'm taking my Max Factor... Masterpiece Max Mascara. This is a new one, which is actually like the limited edition packaging, um, which is pretty cool, actually, quite Coachella esque. So I'm taking that. I'm taking my Isla Brow Gel. The eyeshadow palette I'm taking is the NARS and God Created Woman palette, which is one of my faves. It's just really good for traveling because it's super compact and small. I'm taking an Urban Decay 24 7 eyeliner in Perversion. I'm taking my Burberry. Um, it's like a cream eyeshadow base in this colour is Rosewood. Um, and then I'm taking my Tom Ford brow pencil. My, this is actually new, is a Guerlain eyeliner in Jackie Brown. It's like a really, really soft brown eyeliner. My MAC brow pencil as well, just in case I want to switch it up. My Kat Von D liquid liner and my Guerlain liquid liner, which again is new. I got... Um, given these by Guerlain, the um, two eyeliners, and I'm really excited to try them because I've heard so much about this liquid, especially I used it for the first time today. And I haven't used a proper liquid liner in such a long time. I always use the felt tip ones. So it took me a while to get kind of used to it and like it took me a while to actually draw it on compared to my normal stuff, but I'm quite liking it. And then brush-wise, I'm actually going to be washing these before I go, but um, I've just put them in to kind of make sure what can fit and stuff. I have a Bare Minerals powder brush, Hakuhodo contour brush, Sephora foundation brush, Hakuhodo blush brush, and then a few Hakuhodo eyeshadow brushes. One of these I think is probably MAC as well. And then a Hakuhodo pencil brush and my tweezers. So I'm going to clean those after this. And then in here, I have all of my lip products if they will 
come out to play. Um, so I've got a Charlotte Tilbury nude lip liner. I have my Ciate Liquid Velvet in Diva, I think this one is, yeah, Diva, so the red. And pin up my Arborean lip balm, which is super, super moisturising. I have a new Guerlain um, Le Petit Noir um, lipstick, which I used for the first time tonight. I'd like tried it out for the first time. It's actually really, really nice. And then I have a MAC lipstick. I think this is in Patisserie. And it's Jubilee. So like a nude lipstick from MAC. So they're the lip products I'm taking. And then finally, in the big compartment, my bed is now covered in makeup. I have my face makeup. So I have my Dior Forever Foundation, which is my current fave. I have my Too Faced Hangover Primer, which again is a like not even a current fave, an all-time fave. I've got an Estee Lauder Double Wear Powder to set it all. I've got an Estee Lauder Double Wear Concealer. My Kevin Aquan Cream contour and highlight which is super good for traveling because it's tiny and compact i have my ysl touche Claire, my rimmel kate moss contouring and blush trio i have my l'oreal le blush in bois de rose and then again two more Guerlain products that i'm going to be testing out the first one is the um Paro Gold Foundation, which is apparently Mary Greenwell's favourite. It's really pricey, but I used this for the first time today, and the texture is really, really incredible, and it stays on. It's like really high coverage, and it stays on a lot, so I'm interested to try that out a bit more. And then a terracotta bronzer, which I haven't used one of these in years, so I'm going to be testing that out as well. I can't open it with one hand. It's like, there we go. I've got it. I've got it. Ta-da! Um, so yeah, that is what I'm taking. I took a cello with me, and I am slightly in love with this makeup bag. I totally just fell asleep on my bed whilst packing and watching Chelsea Does, which is like the Chelsea Handler um, series on Netflix, which is really good. So I'm gonna head to bed. I'll see you all in the morning. I hope you have an amazing day um, or evening. Mike's in the background taking his shoes off. Hello. <laughs> see you tomorrow, guys.